everybody, welcome back. We have just accepted our woman into our wiener. What? Alright. So... We need the Metatron. And the church is fine. The church was literally exploding in front of us before. Alright. Passcode. Passcode is good. Come here, come here. Oh, shit. These, uh... Kung Fu... Or, yeah, the... Colossus, I think they're called, or Cyclopses. Uh, the Cyclopses actually do a lot more damage um, in close range combat than uh, the regular bad guys, the Raptors. And then obviously the Mummy Heads, the big fat ones, those guys are, you know, straight up long range. They actually have some ridiculous attacks later in the game. Come, come, come. Where they at? Let me hit them up. Let's see if I can grab a bunch of them at once and drag them way off into the distance. Right, there's one encounter. There's two encounters. And now we need to get them far the fuck away from all these fucking towns they're destroying. Jesus Christ. I am, uh... Not exactly... Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, you can grab them too. Uh, they do a lot of cool stuff with the grab in the uh, second. Yeah, oh wait, we weren't going to talk about that. Nothing happens. Everything is normal. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're in a giant fucking robot and you murder all the babies. Oh yeah, and by babies I mean giant evil robots. Shut up. I I apologize for that. I don't know. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Look at these sick, awesome robot battles. So good. Okay, well, we grabbed a password, which will get us a thing, and this is the thing right here. I think this is the first sub-weapon, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yep. They give you sub-weapons in this game, um, and they all kind of suck. I'm sure there's some crazy Japanese person who's beaten this game in like five minutes on the hardest difficulty, you know, some crazy speedrunner guy who uses them to great effect, but I can, there's like one or two that I find useful and that's it. Let's see, what else do we have in the area? Looks like nothing. Well, now that I've helped destroy that entire area, I guess we'll go uh, somewhere else. Hey, girl. Hey, you got pretty eyes. Then again, I got pretty girl eyes, too. Are you hurt anywhere? I'm hurt in between my legs. Can you help me with that? You didn't find anybody out there. No. I'm sorry. Fucking damn straight, bitch. I shouldn't have yelled at you. No shit. I have the giant robot. I'm the big dick OG. One thing that I want you to remember. You have to take care of your own life too. You're like fucking 14. Who are you to give goddamn life advice? You did manage to escape. Didn't you, father? I'm a robot. I'm not your father. Shut up. I love you. What? <laughs> what is it? All right. Fucking blowing up all the people. <clears throat> Show it. Show us what's up. Super easy. Not really. Okay. Oh, fuck you, though. I'm cool. You're not. Look at all this awesome, crazy computer bullshit. This looks great. This looks fucking magical. Also, that, that cargo ship down there looks really weird. I don't understand what they were trying to go with that design. What were you trying to accomplish? What? By the transportation elevator. Do you have any questions? I see something shining in the sky. It appears to be some kind of energy field, but I cannot define it. Oh shit. Summary of our mission so far. 
Please proceed directly. I remember a lot about this game, but not too much. It's all coming back to me as I play it, though. Um, Here are the latest headlines. Barum the story stuff, I don't really remember too much. Uh, Barum are the bad guys. Even though, if you read the wiki, they, they, it sounds like they're the good guys, but then they go nuts or some shit. Um, wow, that's... That's, like, super fucking grim. All those people can do is clutch each other and tell their children how much they wanted them to have wonderful lives as they slowly melt to death in front of each and every one of them. As I stated earlier, you should not undertake illogical actions that have no bearing on our mission. But Back off. Just for a little while, this orbital plane and all aboard... You're a robot. Fuck you. I don't have to argue with you. You're not even real. I don't even know why I want to bang you so much. Oh, everybody's sad. Oh, fuck you. I'm the best. I will pinpoint its location with a marker, but I'm Thank not you. You should not undertake illogical actions that have no bearing on your You mission. can choose not to do these rescue missions, but uh I'm scared too. It you know you get a worse rating at the end of the game. And I don't think I don't remember if you unlock anything for getting a better rating. I think you unlock stuff for like the versus mode that you can play. Oh, there's a multiplayer versus mode in these games you can play after the fact that are super good. But I think that's the only thing you get for getting better ratings in those or beating the game faster or anything. It's a cool incentive, but I mean, for people who aren't really into the multiplayer part, it's kind of like, eh, what the fuck ever, you know what I mean? So, eh, what the fuck ever. I'll try to do it and be Mr. Cool, save the people guy, but uh, no promises. So though, if you look around, yeah, there's people and buildings and blah, 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 blah. However, here's this big, you know, area of green that we can draw them to. So, the best policy is to pull them way the fuck back here where it's just a road. Because as long as those survivors don't get killed, I mean, you get a better rating. We got a password for Phalanx, which is actually a uh, decent um, thing. Bam! Burst attack. Bam! Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Yay! So far, so good. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. I'm not really too worried about damage to the surroundings. I'm more worried about damage to the people. Uh, that's the important part. Come on, keep pulling them back. You know, let me see the map area here. Where am I? I'm right there. Yeah, okay. I gotta keep drawing them here. Keep drawing them in. Get away from the house. Look at it. It's just sitting on the houses waiting for you to do something fucking stupid. God damn it. Come on. Still got people alive. Shit. Here we go. Okay. One last squad. So far we have everybody surviving. Shit's going pretty good. They're just shooting at the road. I don't get it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh. I was worried that was just going to land on some fucking house that was behind me. No. Stop it, you fucking turd. You're dead. Can't handle this shit. Um... Even the enemies have a block, and it's the uh, the motionless attack, attack the attack at you standing still uh, that breaks through it, whether it's ranged or up close, um, which is really cool. It also does a lot of damage, so it's uh, I wouldn't say important, but it's A. Hey, I got a B. Yay! Now, if only I could get an A by not letting any buildings get destroyed. But then you're asking kind of you know a fucking lot. All right, let's go get a new thing. Whee. Whoops. You would think if you crashed your giant robot into a building, it would destroy the building, but nope. 
video game logic. It's cool. I'm, I like it. Okay, we got the driver four phalanx. Once we get, once we get ammo for it, which we get from uh, enemies, uh, we'll be able to use it. So there's a destroyed Lev, which is the the Earth robots they use, and there's a destroyed orbital frame. Although it's not really destroyed, it's just kind of electrocuted. So we should remember that for later. In the meantime, we gotta leave. Bye, bitch. Time to fly away! Hard cut, fuck your mother. Okay. Uh, what the hell are we doing? We're going to the fuckery. Actually, let's go back here to the town and do some quick revering up. Uh, because I don't want to be dying later on. You know, the easier the better. Um. Is there any open spots on the map? Yeah, just the fucking area here down under the ground. Come on. Come on, little one. Come here, you pretty little girl. Oh, you're such a good little baby girl. I'll kill your family. I'm fucking murder your shit. Mmm, you. You. Oh, well, I know I was talking about how awesome the camera is, but the camera got a little close there. Wow. Goodbye. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Yeah. And there's the hit. Alright. Combat is so fun in this game. It really makes you feel like a badass mecha pirate. Can I fight a giant fucking boss here? Yeah, 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 yeah. And basic combo. The basic combo feels good, but after a while it starts to feel just maybe a little flaccid. Just a tiny bit. I mean, I'm not complaining, I just, you know. I like turtles. Oh, is that two at once? Hell yeah! Alright, the little white bar... <clears throat> the little white bar below my uh, health bar down at the bottom left corner of the screen is my experience bar, so... The more that fills up, uh, the more better. See? Pop it up. Alright, we've killed everybody. Alright, change change up. Hate to say the game, if you're trying to really get your experience up towards the end of the game becomes a grind because you just do it, basically go from area to area to area grabbing you know fighting the enemies and building up your experience which it isn't, it isn't too bad the combat's fun enough that it, it doesn't really become too much of a slog and if you really want to change it up the uh the sub weapons allow you to really approach battles from a lot of different uh Oh, there's the thing we need. I'll let you approach uh, battles from a lot of different, uh, like, ideas, I guess you could call it. Oh shit, level 3. They, uh, really expanded that on the second game, which I said I wouldn't talk about. Um, oh wow, does that it put everybody else at one hit? There we go. Password for Anteria. Got you. Oh shit. All that dodging and he still catches me with one part of the combo. There we go. Alright. Where the fuck did that blow up? Oh, these guys are going around bombing shit. Come on. Oh wow, that's where all my friends died. Right? You know, no, this is this is the the beginning area. Come here. I'm gonna make you taste my pain. I'm a sad little boy who's in love with a robot who can never really love me back. You can't handle it. 
can't handle how cliched in Japanese it is. Alright, oh, there's the thing I gotta get. Grab that first. Metatron. What is that? Is that just some weird thing? Or is it part of a building? I think that's part of a building. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got here in weird giant robot syringe? Like, they make that look like it's like some hand-activated thing, but it's really like a 30-foot tall tower. Hey, buds. Are you guys... Are you guys still dead? Hey, wake up. Wake up. It's not cool anymore. I'm young. I don't understand death. I'm not weird. Shut up. We... We found the ceiling, and so we're dancing around it. This is just me holding dash and up. Let's see if I just hold up. Uh, nothing. God. The movement is so fluid. Mmm. It's so good. It feels testacular. As long as you don't feel your testacles while you play the game, you need both hands. Thank you, robot lady. We'll never be able to defeat the Death Star in this condition. Okay. As mandated by the environmental protection law. Extra power supply. Huh. You mean it's dangerous? Yes. Being within the energy field is like being in a microwave. See, when the kid sounds like an idiot here, it actually makes sense because, I mean, EPS, that doesn't really explain anything to me. So, what can we do? We have no choice but to disrupt the energy field by destroying the EPS system. Alright, I'm down. You keep showing me the little weird maxi pad thing on the bottom right there. Oh, there's satellites outside of the maxi pad. A badly drawn maxi pad. I, sir. Really? It carries the main power supply to the EPS antennas from the axis <coughs> of the colony. <coughs> By damaging the relay block of the shaft, we can weaken the EPS energy flow, if not stop it. Sounds good to me. And we can go in there and fack it up. <laughs> okay, Kojima. Really? The shaft and two antennas? Where the shaft is located. I will show you with a marker on the screen. I don't want to know about your shaft, Kojima. Not again. I oh shit. You yourself to your duties. I know, but... Fuck off, I want to save the people, because I'm happy little child boy. Where's the fucking SOS? I can't see shit. Oh, okay. All the way over here. Is this the same town that was getting fucked up before? I don't know. Ada. My name is Leon S. Yeah, it is the same fucking spot. Alright, let's fuck him up. Fuck with my titty. So there were people here. Why would they run out of the bomb shelter back into the city that's being actively bombed by hate robots? I mean, that's stupid, right? Oh, that's literally the only building, though? I guess that's the only building. Jesus. Come on. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come here. Come here, girl. Come on. Taste my robot dick. Oh, it feels so good. The button you're probably hearing me jam on is the dash button there. Is it a... Oh, shit. So... Jesus. Um... Uh... So the church has been destroyed. And all the people are dead. And my female doesn't like me. Uh... 
There's gotta... There's, oh my god. So, I fucked up. What am I even... There we go. Yeah. I want to retry that. I can't believe I let the church get blown up. The church was so pretty and it was full of happiness and wonderful love children. Now they're all dead and it's your fault, Selvis. Because you didn't let me do the thing better. First rule of politics, never blame yourself. Never take responsibility. Everyone's fucking dead. We fucked right up. Uh, well, shit. <laughs> uh, I probably shouldn't have even bothered. God damn, I'm a giant fuck up. Holy hell. Alright, so where are we going? Where are we going? I guess we're going to the titty. Let's get in that titty. Fly deep into the titty. Horrifying mental image in my head right now. There's Kojima Shaft, everybody. If you look on the left of the aircraft, you can see Mr. Hideo Kojima Shaft. The same shaft he uses to pleasure all his hundreds of women, such as Eva, and Quiet, and Marvel, and, well, I guess Otacon's kind of a girl. He pleasures Otacon with his, with his shaft, and he pleasures Raiden, and he pleasures Sunny, but not until the future. Is that the whole point of Revengeance? Was Kojima just like, well, I want to make a game where Sunny's old enough that I can, you know, per Japan high school law, think about, you know, so let's just go for it. Oh, they won't let me do it, so... Oh, shit. Yeah, I can't go past the little blue thing you can barely see. Like, if I, if I go uh, past it, it'll just kill me. Let's see, can I hit them from here? Since they're standing still, I can always try. Oh, shit. The damn thing, uh... Completely stops it. Alright. So, we can't go here anymore. Ada. Did it open up the shit next? No, it did not. Um, what am I supposed to do? Mission. Find the long distance bullet weapon net. Okay. So, whoops. I have no idea where I just went. Oh, I'm back here, I guess. Um, let's look on the map. Well, there's a thing I can get. But I can't get over there, so. So you can't go past it. Oh wow, but I'm starting to be able to one hit these guys, so. It works for me. This guy's sitting way too far out of the. Uh, range that my shit can fly. So he's basically sitting too far away from me and pegging me. Which was one of the small gripes I had with this game. There we go. Alright. So we gotta go find the sniper rifle thing. Um, area change. I wonder if it's not at the factory or somewhere we've been before. Or did new areas we haven't been to yet open up? I don't know. Why am I flying back? What the fuck? Oh, shit. I must have hit the A button right as the frame 
like at the very beginning frame of the the overworld. God damn it. So, word of advice, don't hit the A bulletin. Factory. Let's go to town two. Maybe it's there. I hope it's there. We'll find it eventually. Oh, there's another weird thing about this game. Oh, yep, yep, this is it. They would tell you to go do something, but they wouldn't tell you where to go do it, so you'd have to explore the areas and find where the fuck it is. In this case, there's these little funny things floating around. We gotta uh, shoot them all up. Gotta shoot them all. Gotta get that. Gotta get that boom, boom, boom. That boom, boom, pow. Them chickens jocking my style. I'm on that West Coast swagger, you on that next shit now. Are some of its applications. When you apply high energy and high speed rotation to Metatron, you can observe an effect. I apologize for singing bad, horrible, fucking shitty black eyed peas lyrics. I know they're really the worst thing that's ever happened to music. Say it more simple. Justin Bieber has been healthier for music than those freaks of nature. You can all hate on me now. Okay, great. Oh yeah, you have to get close to the things really in order to destroy them, because if you, if you shoot at them from a distance, odds are you're going to just end up hitting something else. Come on, come on, come on. Oh shit. Oh shit, shit's getting fucked up. All these motherfuckers using long range shit. The good news is the enemies are getting a little bit tougher and more numerous in the same area. However, they're pretty much keeping pace with my level, which isn't. It isn't bad, but. It's not what I want. Come on, you bitch. There we go. Where's the next ones? Oftentimes, the best policy is to clear out an area in order to be able to explore it more freely. Because obviously, the moment you can exit lock on at any time by holding down the left trigger or, you know, L2 for the PlayStation remote. Um, but then you have to get away from the enemy and it'll just automatically lock you on to the enemies again as soon as you get. Oh shit, okay, okay. Where was I going? Um, it'll just automatically lock you on as soon as you get near uh, the enemies again. Or within encounter distance, basically. Alright, so now we've done that. Now we have to look and fly around and shoot the little thing. So, walk up to it and you know, kill it like that. Eventually, and I think it's actually the first weapon we get, we get a, a sniper rifle weapon that allows us to take these things out from a distance, which is great. Oh shit, well, oh. Shot at the house and then, you know. I expected that to be the end of that house because why the fuck not? You can land an exploding fucking mecha on it, but uh, if you even sneeze at it in the wrong direction, it's like, nope. Oh, see? See? I just killed that entire beautiful Japanese house. I guess the house from Shuffle. All those gorgeous naked women are dead now. If you don't know what Shuffle is, fuck off. Hey, I got the thing. Snipper riffle. Now they're gonna be like, you have the sniper rifle. Now go get the stupid fucking ammo for it, you stupid dick. You dick shitter. I'll shit your dick. Oh, they gave us some ammo. Okay. Alright, so... We've done that. What's the next step? Oh! Now we go here and we blow up the shit. So let's go here and blow up the shit. <clears throat> oh, this sniper weapon. This is the, uh... This is the weapon that you can use to draw people from far the fuck away. Here, before I even shoot at anything else, I will show you. Uh, there's passcode guys. So see how they're all the way fucking over there? Yep. Just gonna pull them in here. 
<clears throat> Come on. So even though I can't get to those guys yet, I can draw them to me like I just did. Yay. You can't handle this shit. <clears throat> I like how they're like, you can't fucking destroy all this shit, but the moment you get near this clearly, incredibly important, powerful, <clears throat> probably colony supporting shaft, they're just like, yeah, just go nuts. Just go nuts, video games, you guys. Damn it. I'm gonna draw them back. <clears throat> There we go. Here's the last enemies. Let's draw them in for a fight before we do anything else. The reason I dash on the the or uh, the reason I jam on the dash button like this is because the constant change of inertia throws off where they're aiming, so it makes it harder for them to hit me. Therefore, if you want to play the game like a big dick G, you dash like a crazy person instead of at a constant rate. In this game, it's not so important. In the second game that I said I would never talk about ever. Oh, they're just going to keep spawning. Well, I mean, that's not bad. Shit. They're going to keep spawning. I'm just going to get myself a free level here. Or they're gonna kill me before then. Come on, and slack, snag my bitch up. There we go. All right. They're trying to teach you why this is so good. Cause look, you just kind of. Supposed to destroy those things. First time I played this on the HD version after not playing it forever, I'd completely forgotten about this and I stayed got shit. I stayed stumped for about 45 minutes. Not actually that long, but I felt so stupid after I remembered exactly what I had to do that it felt like it was that long. I felt like I had wasted that many minutes of my intelligence on just derping it super hard. Yeah. No, they're the balls, remember? Because the first thing we fucked up was the shaft. First you get take care of the shaft, then you take care of the balls. Alright, what's down here? Or where... Where on the map was the thing? There's the thing. I'm going to the thing over here. I was, I'm assuming that's what the passcode is for. What do we got? What do we got? Give us something good. Give us that good ham sandwich. Oh, geyser's pretty good. Um... Geyser's good, uh, because you can use it here. Well, let's just read about the weapons. Javelin flies in an arc, short range, garbage. Geyser, laser weapon, sprinkle on surface. Basically, if you're in a small area, you throw it all over the wall, and it creates just like this, this crazy spider web of pain to, you know, fuck everybody with. Phalanx is great. Uh, Phalanx is just basically a constant shotgun stream that, um, increases or decreases spread range the more you use and then obviously the sniper you saw snipes super far away um let's use the phalanx here see it starts out all close or far away and then it ends up close in this like super close arc so if you get up close and you need to hit a bunch of people at once or in the second game which i said i wouldn't talk about um a lot of little things in an area in front of you, you use that and you'll I feel like such an awesome mech pilot right now. The fucking chick on my lap has got to be just puking all over me. But that's cool. Leo's down for it. Leo's down for for banging AI women that don't exist and getting thrown up on. Yeah. Video games. Alright. Uh, area change. And we're off. Bye-bye. On to the next adventure. Yeah, Ada. Epps. Epps. Isn't that the actor from one of those movies, Omar Epps? Oh, fuck it. We're going to go to Epps Juan.